We're going to Korea. Keith is a tired boy. Tell the vlog where we are. We're in Seoul. We're in Seoul. Mm. Yeah, we got here about, uh, I can't see the time, a few hours ago. Um, it's Saturday, 8th, the 18th of February. Um, Wait, you didn't even say where we are. No, I'm gonna put in the fir first clip of you. Oh. Just think about how you're going to edit the vlog too. We flew Korean Air, which was a really, really good experience compared to our last international flight, which was on Air Canada. And, um, um, I don't See, it's not that easy. <laughs> Let me continue. I don't think we ever updated the vlog, but Keith is good and free now. He has an intolerance and we filmed like the food that he got. It was okay, but it was nothing compared to the normal Korean air food you get, like you get bibimbap, which is really cool. We checked into our hotel, we're staying here for a month. Um, Keith just finished up his job and I'm working remote from here, so this is going to be our home for the next month. We're both really tired and we just went out and had dinner and we went to the convenience store and we got my favourite. My milk. Banana milk. My banana milk. <laughs> My milk. But Keith forgot to get a straw, so I have to drink it like this. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Maybe if you filmed the vlog, you would have got the milk. Mmm, that's better. I'm gonna do a quick room tour before we trash the place. So you come in, bathroom is here on the left like this shower in there and you come out and then we got a little wardrobe which we'll definitely be using it's one of the first hotels that I'm actually gonna unpack fully here's the bed little desk set up Keith looking out at the view and there's like a little built-in couch thing which is nice and we got some drawers which we'll use Let's go look at the view. Here you go. The streets of Seoul. Good morning from Seoul. Um, it is obviously the next day now. I'm feeling much better. I was very tired after that long flight. Um, good night of sleep. Fixed me up. Feeling good. Feeling ready. Um, we just went down and grabbed a coffee and grabbed some food from the convenience store just because I'm also very, very hungry. While we're downstairs, we also had a chat to the front desk guy because um, our room is very hot. There is a heater that is always on and you can't change it. You can't change the temperature. Um, I mean, you can turn it off, but it doesn't do anything. So the room's been at like 27 and a half degrees all night and all morning and it's really hot in here. So I'm not too happy about that. Um, his suggestion was just open the window, which I don't really want to do because it's actually cold outside and then also the air quality is not very good so we're not sure what we're going to do and this is our breakfast it's just boiled eggs we got six well six eggs three of these two packs because it was a two plus one so the we we're going to get two and the next one was basically free so why not more eggs 
we also got some coffee from downstairs um, problem I'm finding so far and it might be a problem here is most of these cafes don't seem to offer an alternate milk uh, so I've just got like normal milk but I'm not a fan of that I much prefer like soy milk or oat milk or something um, I would have thought Korea would be very easy to find soy milk but I'm not sure and we got a yogurt protein up fat down all right we're about to go out and explore our area for a little bit but before we do I think I might need a pulsating enema we are staying in Tongdaemun. Did I say that right? How do you say it? Tongdaemun. 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 Yeah, close enough. enough. It's a bit chilly out here. Um, we have masks on also because the air quality is really bad. And it's like I keep my face warm, which is nice. And this is the street we're walking down. It's kind of, it's really quiet at the moment. It was kind of busy last night, but it was a Saturday night. The building's kind of cool. Is a restaurant of some kind. I'm so glad I caught that on camera. We are now in a different hotel room because uh, our other one was getting too hot, like I said, and we changed rooms. I offered a room change to see if this one's any better. Um, the temperature is at 23 and a half in here rather than 27 and a half. So it's like a little bit warm, but it's not terrible. I think Sally already did a room tour, but you can look at our new room. It's identical to the other one, except everything is mirrored. You come in and then the bed's on the right, not the left. And then I'm going to be sleeping on the other side now. And yeah, we're on the 14th floor now. We still have the exact same view. It's a lot clearer now. You can actually see the mountains. It's quite nice out there. We are down at the subway. Hello. And we need to top up our um, cards. So we can go on the train. Cash. Cash? Oh. Can't use a 50,001 note? That's all we have. Now we're just sticking in a bunch of ones to get some money. You have to explain where we are. You weren't paying attention. History and Culture Park. We're at the Design, Design Plaza. Gongdae Design Plaza. The DDP. That sounds like some sort of like communist party thing. Or something. That guy almost walked into you and that was funny. <laughs> We're standing still and there's like so much space. Tell me on the ground where I can go. Is it like a light? Projection? Or is it painted? Mm. Um, museum. So you can walk through this cool thing. Found the museum but I think instead we're gonna go to Cacao Friends. <laughs> These are like the funny little cacao talk animal things, whatever you want to call them. Not even just animals, like that one's a peach. I don't understand it. Okay, now we'll go to the museum. This place is very weird. It's kind of quiet. It's really open. It's really big and it's all white and sterile 
and it's very, very strange. We're just like walking up this long ramp and you have no sense of how big it is because everything's white. But there's nothing here. It's just an empty white corridor. <laughs> Don't you just feel like you're in some sort of weird sci-fi movie or something? You know, like some weird spaceship? Oh my god, we finally see something. TV, a symbol of wealth. Some bean bags in case you get tired of walking up long white corridor. I think it's just saying that's how far the whole thing is. It doesn't change the distance. We are almost halfway through this. Ah, emergency goods. In case you get lost up here. They have fake sounds of birds. So you don't forget what the outside world looks like. I really, really feel like we're in the DDP headquarters. Whatever that means. Is, is this what we walked all this way for? A large, empty room? This can't be it. This is it? Oh my god. I present the exhibition. It's called People Will Blindly Follow a Sign. This must mean something. It's art. It's reflecting on the human race as a whole. Now, we can either take the stairwell or keep going up the long white corridor. It turns out we could have taken an elevator this whole time. <gasps> Wait, what's on the other side? When this door opens. I'm not allowed to this people. It's things! It was worth it! And at the top of all this is whatever this is. This is what we came all this way for. Something that says do not climb. Do not cling. Do not cling. Oh okay, I can climb it, I just won't cling to it. What is this place? We've left the museum and we're going to the market. There is stuff there apparently. Hopefully. What's this dude? <laughs> Says it's an imaginary creature that helps you realize justice and brings safety and happiness. We've just come out of the DDP market. It was very underwhelming. There was nothing, nothing there. there. It was like a Starbucks and that. Um, and I think we're done here. Because I don't think there's much except for this really cool looking tree. I think, I think something old used to be here, like old buildings or something, there's all these like stones and a thing, I don't know, right there, stadium memorial and it, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't really say all that much, it just says early Choson building? That sounds like an old period of career or something. Chosan? Yeah. I think that was the last dynasty. When was that? These are like old stones. These must be old. Thousands of years ago. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm going to say it's 2,000 years old. That's what I'm going to say. I think we're on a street where like a market... I think we're on a street where a market is just closed or something. It's really weird, there's lots of cars and clothes everywhere and it's kind of awkward because I feel really in the way so I'm getting out of here. 
around this place with all these funny chairs and stuff. I don't know what this place is, but it's kind of cool. It's warm at least. Okay, we're just taking a little bit of a break in this area. It's warm. Um, trying to figure out what we're doing next and where we are because we tried to walk around a bit and that's where we got lost in those like market that was closing and all these clothes that were everywhere. So we want to figure out where we are. Um, I didn't know this before we came here because I just followed Sally and I didn't really know where we're going but there's a lot of old stuff here and like remains of Seoul's old city wall that I didn't know so I think on another day we'll come back to this area and check out more because you can do like a whole walk along it and I don't really feel like doing that right now for now I think Sally wants to go into this funny shop that's behind me um, I don't know it looks all artsy and stuff she'll have fun there and then we're gonna go look at a gate Gwanghai Moon Gate I don't think I said that right or remembered what it was Kong Ha Mun. It's the southern and largest gate of the palace. There we go. Kong Ha Mun. We're gonna go check that out, I think, and then probably find some dinner. <laughs> See, that's what got me. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the gate that I've already forgotten the name of. I saw over there. Gwang Ho Min Moon. Gwang Ho Min Moon. Gwang Ho Moon. Oh no, it is Gwang Ho My bad, Gwang Ho Moon. Gwang Ho Moon. I think maybe I said it right the first time? I don't know. You know this is the gate. It's pretty cool. Attached to a wall. I think if you can keep walking like all the way up here for like ages but yeah I'm not gonna do that it's a bit cold and I'm a bit tired let's go on through the gate this is the southeast gate and it was Originally, it was just part of it was destroyed, and then they rebuilt it in the 60s, and then they had to dismantle it to uh, make room for street expansion, and then they rebuilt it again in 1975, 15 meters away from the original site. Uh, is it the original stone then? All right, we're in this dingy little place where the floor is. cheap and we'll hope it is good. Oh, this is it. Looks average -ish. Looks cheap. Taste okay? Yeah. Oh my god, my face is so red. That is only because I just had a shower. I look really pink. I don't like this. It's the lighting and I had a shower. I look really red. Anyway, we're back at the hotel now. Um, I think that is it for today and for this vlog. I'm pretty sure I have enough footage. So we will see you guys in the next one.